Yo, yo, what's up, everyone? It's your boy, Vintage Firearm Guy. Happy Firearm Friday. Today, we're going to be doing system test number six. So, let's get started. So, you know, we have the panel and all that stuff. The FCI FC2224 uh, Firearm Control Panel. What's changed on this? Absolutely nothing. So, yep, nothing's really changed on the system. So, yeah. Except we do have one add on, and you guys notice, but. Yeah, I have, a, I have a spare key for this panel, so I have a little hook right here holding the spare key. So that's like a case I, apparently I lose the, this key, and then I still have that one on, on the wall, then I have a backup key. Yeah. So in case I ever lose this, so, yeah. Yeah, but that's like, in case of remember, that's just a case I end up losing this, so yeah. I don't want to lose these keys, it's just important for this panel, so yeah. All right. All right, devices. I still have the Chevron on from last test. Next test, I'll be using this like, one more time. And I'm going to be putting this back up for System Test 10. System Test 10 is going to be a very nice one. And it's going to be related to the more vintage stuff. So stay tuned for that one. Or stay tuned for this guy. Man, I can't talk today. So I got the i3. I'll swap that out for System Test 10 as well. So. Firelight BG12, that's, yep, still over here by the door. I'll see about putting the excess sign up, hopefully sooner than later, so yeah. Over here, I still have the Gentex Chimera 2, like usual, by the door, yeah. So, everything is pretty much exactly the same from last test, except one change, and that's the notification implying spot by the panel on the pull station. I just swapped out my Gentex Khmer 3 horn strobe and I put up my, yeah, I put up the Gentex, no, yeah, Gentex SHG uh, horn strobe up here. Yep, it's uh, continuous. I was gonna do March time, but I was like, nah, I don't really like the March time on this thing. I just don't really like it too much. Yeah, so that's the SHG, so. All right, so that's pretty much all the devices. Now let's go ahead and we'll solve the fire alarm system. Um, yeah, let's not let's not have the smoke detector. Let's not have the smoke detector first today. I haven't, done, I haven't set this off yet, or at least the first, at least in one of my system tests yet. So let's activate the smoke detector first. Here it goes. Yep, smoke detector activated. I don't know if you guys see, but yeah, the red light is on, so reset. All right, now let's see what we should do next. Let's do the shower right next to the panel, so here we go. Pulling down the chevron, here it goes. All right. Take this very long Allen wrench key. You can see, model of it, I think it's 4251 111 or something like that. I don't know. Something like that. All right. Now we reset the system. All right. And now for the final part of the video. Last but not least, let's pull down the BG12. And here we go. All right, so yeah, that is the SHG and the Commander 2. I decided to do like an old Gentex over here and a newer Gentex over there. Have an older sounding one and a newer sounding one. It's pretty cool. So yeah. So <clears throat> next test, I'll still be having these two up. So except I am going to be swapping out the BG12 and the Commander 2. Well, what am I going to be swapping it out with? Well, I'm going to swap out the BG12 with the Game Loss Century. 
And I think one for the Chimera 2, we're gonna swap out that with the can you guess what this is? Yeah, we're gonna so we're gonna we're gonna use the mass next test. That'd be nice. Yep, I cannot wait to use that, so that'd be nice. And also I got the Spectre Classic, but that's gonna be for system test eight, so. Anyway guys, stay tuned for that, cause next test will be system test seven and then and system test eight, so. Anyway guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel.